Welcome to the world of the South American yellow lungfish. Its scientific name is Lepidosiren paradoxa. This species can be found throughout the waters of South America. As you can see, I'm comparing its scale to my hand just so you can get an overall size of this beast. I find this one of the most fascinating creatures that I've come across in many years. I've owned this particular lungfish for 14 years already and it's been a really great experience. Notice the fins in the front. They move as balance as the lungfish just cruises along the bottom of the aquarium. Notice the smooth skin yet embedded scales which allow it to just slither through the water at lightning fast speeds. As a juvenile, many years ago, this lungfish had yellow spots and markings in its front region of its head. As it matured, these slowly disappeared and the presence of large black markings started to cover the surface of the skin of the lungfish. I truly believe that these are a sign of age, or perhaps wisdom, so we could say. Notice it stick its head out of its water. Right now it's taking in oxygen because this fish does have lungs and gills and it will drown if it's not able to do that. This fish surfaces approximately once every six minutes to take in air. If you listen really closely you can occasionally hear just a, like an air valve type of sound similar to a whale or perhaps a dolphin. It's kinda neat. Notice again I'm holding up my hand to compare scale. Notice the legs in the back. They're helping the lungfish walk along the bottom of the tank. Many observers claim that the lungfish has a smile on its face. This is just the natural jaw formation. Take a look at the really small eyes. They're extremely small for the body size of this fish. I've just placed 19 pellets into the tank and now we're going to observe the lungfish his eating patterns. Take a close look and enjoy. He senses food at the top because small particles from the food are just falling you know throughout the tank and it's able to sense that. All right. There are also Australian and African versions of the lungfish. I personally owned an African lungfish a few years ago, and it's a very fierce creature. It had a maximum length of five feet and was able to live outside of water, burrowing in a mud cocoon for a maximum up to about four years. The Australian version is a little different and a little more non-aggressive. It has fins opposed to whip-like uh, legs and small fins in the front. The Australian lungfish also has massive scales and I inquired about it several years ago and they told me that it was a really difficult species to obtain and almost endangered. Just look at the awesome length of this fish. The size of this is over 26 inches. One of the coolest things that you can witness is a lungfish eating its meal. It's quite amazing. Check it out. The lungfish have a bone plate in the top of their palate in their mouth which enables them to crush hard surfaces such as crawfish, crabs, bones, freshwater snails and shells 
and other aquatic creatures. I was recently fortunate enough to acquire a second South American yellow lungfish. I had to separate the two because of the aggressiveness of this one. Notice the difference in the shape of his skull. I believe that I truly have one male and one female lungfish. Hopefully this will open up breeding opportunities in the future. Thanks for joining me today with this week's episode of The Yellow Lungfish. Stay tuned for more.